hey guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Blair welcome to my beauty space so for today's video I am going to do a get ready with me for the New Year's Eve party so in today's um, get ready with me I'm going to featuring the brand new ColourPop good as gold collection because when I think about uh, New Year, I always think about the gold color, the celebration, all that kind of stuff. So I kind of want to do a gold look and I'm going to get ready with you guys together. So if you also want to recreate this look, you know exactly the steps and the products I used. Also today, it's a new background. I'm in my Vegas hotel. Do you guys like him? This is Wynn Las Vegas. It's so nice, it's so big, and it's not that expensive. So yeah, if you guys wanna come to Vegas and party, you should come to Wynn. All right, without further ado, let's get started. So first, I'm going to use uh, this Restore Makeup Wipe. So this I got from Bloomingdale's, and this is my go-to travel makeup wipes because not only this one will you know like clean your makeup but also this one will nourish and clarify your skin it has anti-aging moisturizing calming and makeup removing effects so it's really good if you are on the go you don't want to you know grab a toner or grab a bunch of skincare this one can be your like one step solution also this one is uh, eco-friendly it has jojoba oil you have aloe and marshmallow it has chamomile oat kearney papaya and a pineapple so it's all the good ingredients plus this one doesn't have any you know like skin harming you know chemicals like selfies all that kind of stuff so yeah it's really good this is literally what i use when i'm um, traveling so this is what it looks like they're individually packaged so you know travel friendly and yeah i feel like this video can also be like a get ready with me travel edition plus you know get ready with me new year's party look you know so i'm going to just use one because sometimes you know in vegas if you're like party or go out for the night before and you're super tired if you don't clean your skin that well in the morning you need to do it again I feel like I'm losing my voice a little bit, even though I didn't even go to the club. So this time I went to the show, the Circus de Soleil show, but they have the newest one. It's a live thorough action. It's called Run. Oh my goodness. It's so good. It's so good. I know that Circus de Soleil is good, but I don't know. Like I'm not someone that's like so into, I don't know, those kind of circus show that much unless they had a story so this newest one the live action literally i feel like i'm watching a movie like um unfolds in front of me it's so amazing and they also use like the cartoon um just like i don't know like use cartoon to like tell the story but then once the person starts to run then boom the actor comes out and start to run in the theater so it was so cool i, I love it i love it so much i feel like if you guys come to vegas you should totally totally see the show it's so cool so yeah now i have um cleansed my face and my decollete i'm going to use the glow recipe watermelon glow ultra fine mist i brought this one with me on the trip because i love me some watermelon i just love this one so much and it's very easy to carry so Ah, it feels so good and then I'm going to use the Dior Hydro Life Cooling Hydration Survey Eye Gel do you guys notice this one does this one looks kind of familiar this one is the one that I always always use like maybe earlier this year like in 2019 but then I think I put this one yeah I put this one in my last Vegas travel trip because in the February 2019, I also, you know, came to Vegas and see a concert. For me, coming to Vegas is all about the shop. Even though, you know, I live close to one of the biggest Sephora on the West Coast. 
but I still like, you know, go to Vegas and I still go to Sephora and Morphe here. I don't know. I just like to check it out. And then I also come to Vegas, you know, for like the shopping and then for the show. Last time I came up for another concert. So I'm those type of person. I'm not really like a party party like type person. I couldn't really drink because I'm kind of allergic to alcohol. Like literally, I got so red just drinking half a beer or... I just got so red and I feel like my ears are burning when I drink half of the pina colada. That's just me. So I'm never really into those kind of like, I don't know, like brunch party, like open bar, that kind of stuff. I don't know how people do it because <laughs> I'm allergic to alcohol. But yeah, that's why I always come for shopping and for restaurants because they have a lot of good restaurants. Like for example, I stay at Wynn, right? So they have the Italian restaurant called Simperoni. It's so good. I think the other one is in New York. Maybe they have one in Beverly Hills. But yeah, it's so good. If you like Italian food, you should go there. But I do think you should eat maybe for lunch because Italian food is very like, you know, like meaty and like, you know, it's just very like fulfilling. So if you eat for dinner, sometimes it's easy to get stuffed. Like literally we arrived um, later the day, like we arrived um, the day before yesterday around like um, eight or nine. Uh, we first plan to, you know, go to the Wynn Buffet because that's another thing you have to, you know, try at, you know, when. But then they close at 9.30. So we're like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? But then we realize it's Vegas. So a lot of the restaurants probably won't close until... 12 a.m. So we just went to Simperoni because that's the one that's close to the hotel. And B, they're still open. So we're like, okay, let's go there because I always want to try. I went to New York in the summer in 2019 and I want to go to Simperoni. But that one uh, is located in Wall Street instead of like the Upper East Side where I live. So I don't want to like just drive down there to like eat. So I'm like, maybe next time. And this time I'm so lucky because I didn't even know they have a Simperoni at Wynn. I'm just like, I really want to go to Wynn. I want to go to Wynn Buffet because that's where I want to go. So when we arrived, I saw Simperoni. I'm like, great. I need to, you know, try it. So we tried it, it was so good. If you guys haven't followed me on Instagram, it's Beauty by Blair 1011. You should, because a lot of the stuff I will just update on Instagram, because that's like real time, you know? So yeah, it was really good. By the way, I just put on the Sephora Glay Hydrate Moisturizing Glee. This one is really good, because this one is also mattifying, so that way, you know, if you are on the goal, you don't have a mattifying primer, you can use this one to somehow mattifying. Plus this one is affordable, this is like $10 or something like that. It's amazing. So now let's move on to primer. I have this Key and Austin Primer Protect. Do you guys remember this one? This is another one that, you know, I used to always show you guys on, um, you know, my video, but then I took it on the trip with me. And I'm someone that I hate unpacking, like I just don't like to do it. So I just put, you know, all my makeup bag intact so that way, A, I don't have to unpack, and B, next time I can just go, you know, I don't have to repack a bunch of stuff. But this time I do pack some new stuff because I feel like I want to do a, you know, New Year's look with you guys. I can't just use all like the small trial size stuff. Well, I can and it will be more realistic, you know, because when you travel, who wants to bring all the big stuff and take up a bunch of like, you know, luggage space. But yeah, I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna film a video. I wanna show you guys the full size stuff. Also, I have the ColourPop Good as Gold collection. I just really want to, you know, showcase a bunch of new products because I haven't done a get rid with me in a while. I feel like the holiday season, I just don't have the time to really do a lot of get ready with me because there's so many stuff coming out. I want to either haul it for you guys or review for you guys. Plus, how do you guys like the review format of the video? I have talked to some of my subscribers. They all love the review style because it's very like helpful, straight to the point versus, you know, get ready with me. It's like you talk really, really long and then 
you get ready and then you show every product like in 30 seconds but then it's not like a dedicated review so please let me know if you guys like a you know review video better because if you do going forward 2020 that's what i want to give it to you guys i want to always provide the content that you guys like look at my dark circle oh my gosh vegas is hardcore <laughs> even though i go to bed earlier than i would at home but i don't know if it's because all the smoke and all the walking around all the people that's just tiring me out i just felt like my dark circle just just insane kind of okay so this sponge is from equal to i think i showed you guys and this is so nice plus they have this like flat line so you can um bake like here rather than around your nose so it's super nice all right so now the primers are um for the foundation i have this nars foundation this is my travel foundation it's the well weight matte foundation stick i'm in the shade medium three stromboli i don't know how to say that but yeah you have the foundation on one side and then you have the sponge on the other i love this foundation because a it's a stick foundation it's very easy for travel by the way See, this color is so dark for me right now. This is my summer shade, but you know, I never swap out my makeup, travel makeup bag. So I never get a new shade. So I always just stick with this. Yeah, this one is a little dark for me right now. Oh, it's fine. But yeah, I like it because, you know, when you travel, who wants to break foundation, especially in glasses? What if it breaks? Oh. It's gonna be a mess and b do you see how well witty it is i think it's true to the claim it's very very well witty very easy to blend it just feels so like soft you just slide it down like this how nice that is you know it's like so nice i really love this foundation i think if you are looking into a travel stick or you just want this kind of like well witty finish this one try this one probably can get it on sale now because it's not like a new product but yeah this is the foundation looks like i know it's look hella yellow but don't worry we have the concealer to correct it so i have this too face born this way multi sculpting concealer oh my goodness this one so amazing i feel like i like this one better than the tart one i'm not going to lie because this one just doesn't feel so powdery compared with tart the tart one is good but i think it's so powdery i just don't like it this one feels more like a foundation than a concealer which is what i like so i'm just blending it out on my eyelid like this and this is in the shade nude it's lighter than the foundation so it can like lighten up my face a little bit look at this so this is so so nice i just think this is a such good concealer this will go on my best of 2019 no doubt so there you go speaking of that video would you rather say a 2019 mt's video or would you rather say a best of 2019 i have already filmed part of my mt's video but i have a lot of mt's and i like to talk so i couldn't finish all my mt's in one video maybe not even two maybe not even three i have a lot of mt's i literally saved this whole entire year on, on my trash so let me know if I do an empty video, if you still want me to do a best of 2019. I just don't know if I have time to do both, you know? Plus, it might be a little late because a lot of people already did it, so I don't know. But if you guys want me to do it, I will do it. All right, moving on for the concealer. I have this Jordana Stick Concealer. Literally, this is also always stay in my makeup bag, never leave. Because, look how nice. 
you literally just put it on like a crayon pen and I blend it out using this side. It's just a very, very like light concealer. So, you know, it's just very easy to control. I just felt like it's so easy when you just bring those kind of like stick products. Look at that, right? Sometimes I do a little on the forehead, but I don't do a ton because I don't need a ton. But yeah, look at this. So, so nice. And this is like less than $5. So go to your local workplace and get it. Okay, that's the stick contour. Moving on, I have this setting powder travel side. This is a Kat Von D setting powder. It's a locket setting powder. It's actually pretty decent. So this is what it looks like. Ooh. I'm gonna use a new beauty blender. And then just put it like this. It is so, so, so nice. I just, I love this one so much, I think. You know, I have a bigger size, but I don't use it as often now because I have so many. But yeah, look, this is a very decent one, honestly. All right, moving on, I guess it's brow time. So for the brow, I don't even know if I have any brow stuff. Let me see. All right, moving on, it's brow time. And I have this glossier brow um this kind of like a brow tint and this is called boy brow this is always in my makeup bag as well this is what it looks like very like skinny wand i like so i just you know brush my brows like this see i'm blessed with pretty good brow to begin with so when i'm on the trip i usually just don't bring a pencil i just i don't know i just feel like when you are you know, traveling, you don't have a lot of time to just sit down and like fill in the brow. So I just use this brow tint to like put it out. I know I'm like pretty lucky. I don't really need to fill in the brow. But even if you need to fill in the brow, I still think this is a good product to like set them and just have that color tint. You know, it looks pretty good. So yeah, now brows are done. All right, moving on is eye time. So I'm going to reuse the Good As Gold eyeshadow palette. Here are all the shades in the back. As soon as I saw the pictures on Trend Mood, I'm like, this is a perfect New Year's um, eyeshadow color. And it's perfect for Vegas as well. Even if you party at your home, I still think it's really good. So inside, this is what it looks like. And once you open it up, here are the shades. Look how pretty are they. They are so pretty. One thing though, I feel like this palette has a lot of um, shimmers, but not a lot of mattes. Like they have this matte shade right here. It's pretty good though, it's pretty good. And then they have this matte shade right here. This is a little darker, so I like it. It's pretty good, look. And then they have this kind of like a shimmery matte shade right here. Oh, that's really good, right here. So they have all of this and let's swatch some, you know, kind of like shimmery, shimmery shade like this. Ooh, so good. Just this one palette alone. You don't need to be using any other, you know, eyeshadows. But if you feel like there are only like three lighter mattes and like one, you know, black matte, I usually travel with the Kylie Cosmetics bronze palette right here. So this is her bronze palette. This is literally what's in my travel bag all the time because I think those colors are just so, so versatile. It's so easy to use. Like on the days I just want to go out, I want a little eyeshadow, I always use this palette. I think it's totally worth it. So I have this to complement the good as gold eyeshadow palette. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to use this wet and wild brush. I love this brush. And I'm going to do state of mind, which is this lighter nude color. Ooh. 
it's pretty good there. by the way guys I told you guys I'm gonna buy the Jacqueline Hills and New Highlighter and review it for you guys, right? And I couldn't really buy it online because they're all sold out. So I'm like, let me go to a Morphe to try it out first. So I went to the Morphe in Vegas and they have all the stuff on display. So I tried all of her um, products from the Highlight Lounge. To be honest, I like the beamy lights the best. It's the smallest one, like the super blinding one. I swatched the palette. That's the one I actually initially interested in, but I just, I swatched it, but then I'm just like, uh, no, not really like a good look. I don't think it's like that good. And then I swatched the Moonlight powder, which is supposed to be like a beamy setting powder. It was only okay. It wasn't like great or anything. It's subtle. So I feel like, I don't know, I kind of like my face to be matte, to be honest. If I want it to be subtle, I can use a luminous foundation. I don't know if I necessarily need to use a powder to be subtle. Plus, I have the Lancome one, which is, I think, where she got the inspiration for her own luminous setting powder. And I think my Lancome one is better. And I rarely use that one. Like, I still have, you know, more than half a jar. So I just feel like the product like that, I don't use that much, so maybe I shouldn't buy it. Plus, I just feel, for me, I just feel like product like that, I don't use that much. So maybe I just shouldn't even like keep buying it. So then I'm like, okay, let me just buy the beaming lights. I tried two, one is called Extra, which is like a white gold. Then I tried the color Bomb. I actually like that color. It's like a champagne gold five beaming lights all of them are sold out besides one shade that's really dark i couldn't use it as a highlight so yeah that's the story of that apparently they are selling really well and people snatch them up like cakes so i guess i'll just keep waiting <laughs> when i'm moving on i'm going to use a different brush this one i think i got from sony cash i'm going to use this color to like deepen up here. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, I think people still support Jacqueline Hill, which is a good thing, you know, cause I want her to succeed. I don't want her to keep being down or just keep losing. I understand some people are frustrated with her cause of her previous mess also how she never upload videos, you know, unless she's gonna sell you something. I understand that. But you know what, if she has bomb products, why not, you know? Oh, I also touched all her brushes. I think they're nice, but I don't think it's 20 something dollar nice. I think a Morphe brush is just as good if you don't care about the packaging. So yeah, I won't buy the brushes. I just don't think they're not nice, plus, I think Real Technique have some dupes, so I think you're better off money-wise if you buy Real Technique brushes. All right, moving on. I'm going to do... I don't even know what color I should do. Maybe I'll do this color. Whoa. That's crazy. Okay. The ColourPop one doesn't have a mirror. The Kylie one does, so... Let's put it down. The lighting in here is more of like those kind of homey, you know, hotel lighting. So it's not like ring lights or anything. So just bear with me. I just feel like it's too much to bring a ring light to the hotel. I'm not like a big China with huge production. Plus, I want to be more real. I watch a lot of YouTube. And a lot of the people just saying that they don't like when YouTuber gets big and they start using all the production team. They kind of lose touch with the authenticity because it's like a team effort now and I'm pretty scripted versus them just doing it in their bathroom. So that's why I'm like, let me just get ready in the bathroom. Just be real. Like this is what I'm literally going to go out with. So can get more real than this. By the way, I'm using this shade. 
how pretty this palette with the butterfly. I feel like that's Kylie's idea though. Kylie should have come out with a butterfly collection. I think that would be really good. So yeah, I'm going to put this one a little bit more. But yeah, I just want to give you guys an update on like the Jaclyn Hill stuff. That's what's happening. So yeah, I just want to give you guys an update on the Jaclyn Hill, you know, collection because I promise you guys I'm gonna buy it and review it. So now I swatched them all. I think my opinion kind of changed a little bit. I'm gonna pass on the palette for sure. I just don't think I need it. And for the Moonlight powder, I have the Lancome one. I think the Lancome one looks better, so I'm going to stick with my Lancome one. But one thing I do have to say is that if you don't have the Lancome one, you want to try that kind of like, you know, illuminating powder, maybe try the Jaclyn Hill one because the Jaclyn Hill one is half of the price of the Lancome. Lancome is 60 something dollars, but I bought it when I have like a 20% off. Still, it's very expensive. Jaclyn Hill one is like $32. So it's way cheaper than the Lancome one. Just put it out there. But for the Beam Me highlight, oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. Like the swatch is amazing. The color, everything is so amazing. I think that's the best one out of the collection. And I'm going to buy that one when they're back in stock on um, Morphe close to me. I'm gonna get the color extra because I want that popping highlight. So yeah, that's that about the Jacqueline collection. Now moving on to the liner, because I think the eye look is done. Like I think this is enough. So for the liner today, I'm going to use the Hourglass liner. This is called Warrior. This one is so nice. Such high quality. I always travel with me. Plus, I recently got this travel bag from Too Faced. How cute is this? It's the Clover collection. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And this is so nice because all the long products, I put all my brushes here, I put liners, all the long stuff I put it here. And for all the face stuff, I put in my Kylie bag. This bag I have for like two, three years now. It's very sturdy, I really, really love this bag and you can fit a lot of stuff inside, so it's very nice. All right, let's do the liner then. Wow, this is so nice. Honestly, this is one of the best eyeliner I ever tried. So yeah, if you are in the market for liner. All right, moving on for the lash. I actually have the ColourPop lash, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear it right now because I'm gonna go get food right now. It's not like I'm gonna go to the party. So it might be a little too much. So this is the Falsies by ColourPop. Comes with the whole collection. It's called Dame, D-A-M-E. So here, look how cute they are. They are so cute. I feel like ColourPop coming out with lashes is game over for everybody else. Cause look at those lashes. Do you feel like those are cheap lashes? I don't think so. I think those lashes looking so good. And they are like less than ten dollars compared with a lot of brands like twenty, thirty dollar a pair. Get this, these are good. I have already tried a pair from the Bye Bye Birdie collection. I filmed that video, I just haven't edited it yet, so definitely stay tuned. I'm going to put that one up um, for my next ColourPop video. So yeah, just want to give you guys another you know look of it. But I'm not gonna wear it now because I need to go get food. I don't need to you know be so dramatic. So for today, I'm going to use the Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte. This is the new packaging, I love this yellow packaging. Oh my goodness, this is such a good mascara, literally. If you want the curly and very separated look, this is your best friend. Oh, hi guys. The lashes are finished and I did a quick outfit change. So this is the outfit I'm gonna wear for my New Year's Eve party. They're both from Express. I have this headband. I just love headband. I feel like headband is making a comeback and I'm all for it. So yeah, this top is from Express as well. Let me just show you guys a little bit more. Look how cute, right? I feel like it's very like fitting for the golden theme today. But let's finish our makeup first. 
So you think I'm done with the eyes? Haha, <laughs> you're wrong. I still have one more step for the eyes, and this is the metallic liquid liner from the Good as Gold collection. And I love it. I have the Space Cowboy from Urban Decay two years ago. It's so nice. So when I saw the ColourPop have those metallic liquid liner, I'm like, let me check it out. So this is the gold color looks like. I think it looks really cute. So I'm going to just like put it right here. Like this. Can you guys see it? Let me do a close up. So right here. Okay, I guess it blends into the eyeshadow. Let me do a, a look quick cut crease. So I'm going to do it right here. Can you see it? I feel like this one is not as good as the Urban Decay one because it's not as um, pigmented. So let me put a little bit here. And I think it just blends into the shadow. So let me do this as a lower lash line then, since it's not like super like pigmented. So let's just do it here. Whoa, look at that. That's cute, right? Do a little bit more right here. Yeah, that is cute, but this is not so cute because it's not as metallic as the Urban Decay Space Cowboy. So yeah, I think it, you're better off as a lower lash line. But it look cute on the lower lash line though. I don't really like like a white tight line just because I feel like it's a little too much. But with the gold color, ooh, it's beautiful. Look at this. Oh, wow. Looks very like innocent kind of a look. So yeah, I love it. All right, lastly are the lips. I actually have two sets of lips. <clears throat> All right, lastly for the lips, I have two lip kits from ColourPop and they're both from the Gold Collection. Look how cute. So one is called Strike It Rich. It's right here. And then the other is called Put On The righty so it's right here so let's start with strike it rich so this is instead of a liquid lip and a lip liner this is one lip liner and one lipstick and i love that now the lip liner has the matching cap so nice so this is the lippy pencil and this is a color so let me swatch the color so yeah this is what's the color it's uh, Minute Men, so Minute Men right here. Nudie Brown, who doesn't like it? And then we have the Simon Says. It's a cream lipstick. I love Colourpop's lipstick. This is Simon Says. So this is more of the nude lip combo, and I love it. And then we also have this kind of like, put it on the ready. This is more of like a pinky combo. And again, we have this lip liner. This is called Starship. Wow. So this Starship is kind of like a rosy kind of lip liner. And then we have this called Blame Rain. Wow. And it's a cream formula as well. I feel like ColourPop have updated their formula on the cream. Look how nice that is. And this is so inexpensive compared with a lot of, you know, the brand. And I feel like the quality is just amazing. So I don't even want to buy other brand, honestly, because why pay so much for some more quality? Plus, ColourPop always have like new collection, new colors, new lines. It's just so fun to, you know, collect them. So yeah, this is a ColourPop cream lipstick. So for today, I think we need to do the first set because I kind of want more of a nude lip, so let's just do Mimic Man first. I like to line my entire lip. I love 
this little combo so nice oh my god those are so nice literally if you never tried it i think you should totally try it so yeah this is a finished look how do you guys like it i really love love this kind of like party wiggers kind of look but at the same time a little bit upper east side because of the hairband kind of reminds me of blair wardorf love her so much if you watch gossip girl blair wardorf is my spirit animal so yeah now the whole look is finished and i love it so much so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to enter the new year's giveaway because it's still going out so yeah i want to wish you guys a happy new year i will see you guys in 2020 bye